Hey dolls! So today's video is basically a favourites video because I haven't done one in literally forever. Um, I originally filmed this a few weeks ago and never posted and missed a lot of bits out so I've decided to scrap it and film another one because I've got all of the bits now with me that I want to show and yes um, if you like this uh, makeup look it should be up at some point um, mainly just the eyes because I do everything else off camera because pretty much you know what my makeup base generally looks like um, I think I've got a chatty get ready with me as well um, but you might have to wait for that one I've got the window open so if you can hear a lot of noise um, that's why and also my partner is currently putting floorboards down in the third bedroom so that can be starting to get ready to be fixed um, currently the state of the house is that the kitchen's sorted just need the walls painting um, but we'll get to that at another point um, the back room is finished um, so we're starting slowly getting there uh, obviously it's been locked down so we've had a lot more time to do things um, but unfortunately I go back to work um, on Wednesday so but anyway I'm gonna just jump in firstly this is a weird one <laughs> just because every video I film I'm always wearing these earrings so I guess these are like my favorites uh, they're like these rose gold hoops um, just from Boohoo um, yeah I got them a while ago they're really nice uh, they come in three different sizes so the small these are medium and then the large ones and I actually quite prefer the medium ones especially with this hairstyle I've seemed to keep having this hairstyle when I film these videos so I guess I'm loving this hairstyle um, you might notice that my hair is like a pinky brown uh, one of the products that I'm going to show you is the reason why I've got my hair this color um, and I'm really loving this tee it's like a t-shirt dress I posted it on my Instagram um, and I like to pair it with a pair of cycle shorts I love it it is a large size but honey I'm living for this look and this cute little necklace uh, from Boohoo again uh, tops from Boohoo um, and I just think it's really cute it comes with a this is the longer chain and it comes with a choker but for some reason the choker is not sitting very well I don't know whether the chain isn't the right length so we're gonna get technical um, so with a choker you don't want the two bands to be the same length uh, because then it doesn't sit properly it will be too tight on the bottom and just right on the top or too loose at the top and just right on the bottom and then it starts doing this um, so I think I might have to adjust that but I'm liking this I did this at the tightest one it would do and it actually looks really nice like this so I'm loving it moving on so like I said my hair is this like rose gold uh, brown so what happened was I dyed my hair two weeks ago pink and the pink started to fade but was still there then I got this which is the touch of brunette and put this in my hair thinking it would work to get rid of some of my grey hairs and top um, and it dyed my whole head brown I have to say it's a really nice product and it definitely did what it said it's like this really nice rose gold and I love it I'm definitely gonna purchase more of this because basically it dyes your hair but it's like a it's a color depositing pigment which is great if you've got colored blonde hair because blonde hair doesn't seem to hold color if it's been bleached and I've been having struggles with that the pink the pink was coming out a lot and some other colours that I've tried over the last couple of months have been coming out so this is actually sticking in quite well um, and it makes the hair quite shiny and I just love it but you can see kind of like this gingery pink gold colour and I love it. I got sent this, this is massive, um, it's a 400ml bottle of the Palmer's Cocoa Butter vitamin E daily skin therapy softening smooths relieves rough dry skin 
uh, 24 hour moisture soothes marks and tones skin um, this is amazing I like the fact it's pump bottle I put it on after I shower so that my skin's moisturized because recently um, I've just like started moisturizing my skin um, and it works well when I tan my skin as well um, if you haven't noticed I've got a tan <laughs> And it's just really nice I don't I'm not a massive fan of the scent um, I don't really I'm not a huge fan of the scent but um, it does leave my skin feeling smooth um, it is a thicker formula compared to some um, that are quite watery and I do really like this um, so recommend this and I think this is actually four pounds or something like this or three pounds 99 something like that and it's just a really good size bottle so with my moisturiser, to get my tan, I've been fake tanning with the Bonsai Sands Ultra Dark, um, but I am lazy as anything. I'm basically a sloth in human form, um, and because I am so lazy, I put my tan on. I don't like doing it at night because I sweat a lot. Sorry, TMI, TMI. Um, just sweaty and I toss and turn and I don't want my sheets getting ruined and I've already looked at tan sheets and they are really expensive so I put my tan on during the day and I was bored and couldn't be bothered and I left it on for about two and a half hours and washed it off because I'm lazy <laughs> and I couldn't be bothered to keep my stickiness of my tan I had it on for two and a half hours I just I just didn't like it and I'm very picky about that it's really bad um, because I really want to tan but I just haven't got patience and I don't want to ruin my bed sheets I got this which is the B tan self tan boosting drops now I did find out that this has been discontinued currently it's only available in Boohoo um, possibly somewhere else but I'm not quite sure I don't know whether there is a alternative to this but my god basically it's in this skull shaped bottle um, it's supposed to add boosting tan to your tanner so if your tan isn't dark enough you can add it to your fake tan to make it even darker so in that fact when I washed off my tan I was slightly tanned then I added this to my moisturizer now you can use between four to eight drops per body section so four to eight drops per leg um, per arm per whatever now you can mix this with your moisturizer to add a boost of obviously color I added this I did the eight drops because I wanted to see how dark dark would get and I have to say I am pretty impressed um, it hasn't yet worn off it doesn't I mean it slightly smells like tan like not massively bad but it does smell like tan which I'm not a huge fan of the tan smell but it really has worked um, it's really difficult to capture on camera but basically my arms are tanned and then my my hand is white uh, same with my toes are white <laughs> because I don't like rubbing it on my toes um, and plus I moisturize my feet with something else so but if you can get your hands on this or know a different alternative I would recommend um, currently I haven't found an alternative but I mean I'm not likely to use this very quickly I just want to see how it worked it works phenomenally um, so yeah I think this is about I don't think how much it was I think it's about 11 pounds on boohoo um, but yes it's firstly the bottle is cute and I'm gonna keep that bottle once I finish using every drop in there um, but yeah it's working as I mentioned <laughs> I use a different moisturizer on my feet um, because obviously it's been sunny and warm and also because we've been in lockdown I have really not been wearing socks shoes and I've been wearing sandals as much as I can obviously I can't drive in sandals so but I haven't really been driving that much so um, but to rescue my feet because they've gone really dry and like horrible 
Um, I invested in some proper stainless steel files for my feet. I know, gross, sorry. Um, but I've also started using the oak leaf fees for healthy feet. They've changed the packaging since what I remember. Um, and oh my god, this is a godsend for dry feet, especially in the summer and sandal time because the edges of your heels kind of get a bit like dry. Um, I would highly recommend this. You need a tiny, tiny amount, rub it on. What I do with mine, and it actually recommends to use it um, at bedtimes and after bathing um, or soaking, washing, or after you've like rubbed your feet, like filed your feet down and stuff. Um, that's the best time to use it. Uh, really pea sized amount. It's kind of an oil based solid so once you melt it in it's like quite oily and it's quite nice what i do with mine is i put mine on just before i go to bed put some moisturizing socks on so i don't like smoosh it around in the carpet and get all stuff stuck to my feet um, and then when i go to bed i actually take the socks off to allow my feet to air dry because what you don't want is because it's a thick moisturizer i mean i'm sure some people can wear socks with it but i can't um, is to aerate my feet just so you don't get athlete's foot. I know, gross point as well, but it is a life safe. So if you have severely dry feet at the moment with the sun, or you do during summer anyway, um, I'd highly recommend this. Uh, it was six pounds on Amazon, so definitely worth the price because literally I've been using this since I got it, and that's how much I've used. It's like, it's like hardly anything. I need to use that pretty much every night and I've had it for like a month so really a little bit goes a long way. Sticking on the theme of moisturisers, um, I have three, four, I have four to talk about. So my night routine because I've had more time because I'm not so tired, um, I always gravitate to the La Cura brand from Aldi. One, it's affordable. I think the eye cream is like $3.99, the face cream is $3.99, so you get my drift. So the face cream is the Midnight Power Cream, and it's just this blue formula. It's really nice on the skin, leaves it really smooth. Um, it's just really hydrating. I don't know whether it does anything else, but it's really hydrating and I like it. And their eye cream. The eye cream, because I don't really have any eye creams, it's amazing. Um, I put this on every night, it just kind of moisten, moistens, keeps my under eyes hydrated because I have a real issue with dry under eyes that kind of crinkle and crease and when you wear makeup and stuff it's not the best. Um, but also I try to not have bags under my eyes so that's why I've been using it. Um, I absolutely love these two together um, and they're well worth it. Even if you just get the eye cream, it's definitely well worth it. I just feel like my under eyes are more hydrated and more plumper. Um, and I've got a spare because I'm getting low. And I mean, I've had this pot for a while now and there's so much product in it. It's ridiculous. It's really heavy. There's a 50 ml product and you only need a little bit for night time anyway. So highly recommend those. Uh, for my day moisturizer, I think I might have mentioned this before, so it's no surprise. It's the Soap and Glory, the Fab Pore Daily Micro Smoothing Moisturising Lotion. It's kind of like a minty scent. Um, it's for oily combination skin, so it's not leaving a greasy residue. Um, though it does after a while, or it's just my natural oils coming through, I don't know. Um, I really like this stuff. It makes me feel a bit fresher in the morning. Um, and I feel like my pores do feel sh more smaller when I'm wearing this, like more blurred out. I wouldn't necessarily say that my pores are completely empty and disappeared, but it does kind of help. And I really like this one. I'm getting reasonably low, like half, half a tube, but you only need a small amount and I really do love this. And for my under eyes, so this is technically not not for under eyes, mainly because of the size of the tub. But I got this and I haven't really used it because I don't quite know what what to use it for. Um, it's the Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. 
Um, it's quite a large tub. It is 55 grams. Now, I tried this stuff out when I went years ago to uh, the heat launch um, thing and they were using this, getting everyone to try some on their hand and it looked really nice, felt really nice, it's very hydrating, it's almost water based, uh, oh, it's encapsulated water with low alkaline, um, it's basically like a jelly water, it's really nice. Now I use this under my eyes, one it's really lightweight and two it's really hydrating and for me I found that to stop my under eyes creasing a lot I mean they're, they're creased a bit because of the foundation that I've used because I haven't used that foundation in ages and I forgot how drying it is and there's me like rushing around trying to get my beauty blender wet and did not realize that it already dried to my face so um, but basically it really hydrates the under eye to stop it creasing um, it's good if you have dry skin as well to use it as a full-on moisturizer um, it's not oily in the slightest it's, it's just like water it's really nice and hydrating and my under eyes feel really plumped because they are hydrated and they don't seem to dry out either with this stuff because it's almost like you've glided it on the skin it's moist but because it's encapsulated it's it stays damp but not damp if you see what I mean hydrated um, so I definitely recommend this this is on the pricey side though I believe it's around about 20 pounds not entirely sure um, but yes so I have tried this stuff it just looks like this oh, the lighting just looks like this it's kind of a jelly it has a very slight scent to it but nothing really just a clean smell so I definitely recommend this if you are stuck for a under eye hydrating cream um, because it's not really beneficial for you to put actual facial moisturizer on your eyes if you're going to do that just like put it on your face and then lightly kind of meld it <laughs> but yeah I'm loving this stuff with my night routine I always tone my face before I put anything on it I don't know if anyone else does it that way round, just because I feel like the toner cleans off the death that I have from the day and unclogs and smooths slightly and then I put my moisturiser on because I feel like this does dry out a little and does sting a little in areas and it is the Lacura Healthy Glow Tonic. Yeah, you heard that right. And yes, it does look like the pixie one. They've recently changed their packaging. It's gold uh, lid and gold labelling rather than the green because I guess maybe pixie complained, but everything else is the same. Um, yes, I have two more of these because this stuff is amazing. Um, I love it. It's exactly the same ingredients as the pixie. I mean, I'm surprised it's, you know, no one has complained about it more. Um, I love this stuff. And it, was, it only cost $3.99 when it is in Aldi. So when they have their beauty section come in, grab this stuff like it's going out of fashion because everyone else does. It literally lasts on the shelf for about, I'd say a week, if not less. Um, I love it and I always use it before I go to bed just to give my face a quick smooth because some nights I don't wear moisturiser just because I feel like my face has been too greasy for the whole day and sometimes I just don't like it in the night. I just want to keep my face dry. So I recommend this stuff. I've also got into the habit of moisturising my lips. I never do this. I got sent this and it's the Makeup Obsessions So Balm Lip Balm. And this is in the flavour Mojito. I don't smell the Mojito and I don't taste the Mojito. Um, and a little goes a long way with this stuff. Um, I put too much on the first time I used it and it was like all up my like top lip and under my bottom lip. It was like everywhere. But you get a lot of product in this little tube it is 15 mil you need the tiniest amount oh my god this has been a lifesaver i've got so many lip balms but my lip balms are either in stick form or in little tubs and i find that the tubs get like hair and bits in and this is just reminds me of the hand cream from body shop just like that little simple little twist off squeeze with this tiny little hole get a little bit out smear it around amazing absolutely love that and um, my lips have been loving it because recently i've been getting quite dry 
sore lips. I don't know whether it's because of the wind, because of the sun, just because I don't know. <laughs> but I've been using this and I'm absolutely loving it. Sometimes I use it during the day, um, but most of the time I whack it on at night just to keep my lips moist. I keep using that word. I'm sorry if that's like creeping people out because I know it does, but I don't mind. So. Also, one of my favourite of all time face masks, because I've been doing some face masks recently, because I've got time to, um, is the Fan Pore 2 in 1 Pore Purifying Mask and Peel. It's just this. this is by Soap and Glory as well. Um, this stuff is incredible. Um, I brought this on a whim because I have big pores and I get very clogged pores as well. Sometimes they're quite noticeable, they're quite noticeable on my nose, on the cheek area, on my chin and just there on my forehead. Um, I do get some like on the jawline but it's hardly anything but it's mainly those ones that are really noticeable and I hate it. Now I got this stuff year, a few years back now thinking I like their moisturiser, I mean it doesn't do amazing like get rid of my pores but I wonder if a face mask might help. This face mask is everything I needed. I don't know whether it cleans out my pores completely or it like bleaches the dirt so it's not noticeable but I'm telling you now, this mask clears my pores completely. I have nothing there. Like I have a little divots of where the pores are but they look like they've been leached out and they're skin colored. It is amazing. So the product basically, you get a lot of product in here, um, is just this kind of greeny with exfoliating bits in it. Oh, it smells the same as the moisturiser, kind of that minty fresh smell. You just whack this on, leave it for, I think it's like, is it 15 minutes? Would help if I knew. Yeah. So you can leave it on for five minutes as a quick refresh or leave it on for 15, which is what I do. Sometimes I leave it on a bit longer and I know you shouldn't, but I do. Um, but you leave it on 15 minutes and then once that's been on, it doesn't really dry. It kind of stays slightly wet. Um, once it's finished, dampen the face before you wash it off and rub it in. So those little exfoliating balls clean the face and smooth down anything. Oh. And then you wash it off. And then I definitely recommend, because this is a pore cleaning product, I definitely recommend that once you've scrubbed it off, washed it off, go in with cold water and tap and hold in really severe areas and that starts to shrink down the pores because they're completely clean because your face is completely clean just by doing that shrinks them not to the point that they're gone but to the point where they're smaller and then you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that i on the other hand are kind of lazy as i've already mentioned so <laughs> i don't always do that but if you've got the time just do it because it will be so much beneficial to your skincare especially if you suffer with big pores like me perfume wise i got this for christmas but it's this it is the elizabeth and james nirvana black oh firstly i love the packaging i didn't want the small one i wanted the big one because if i'm gonna pay out have that much money spent on me i'd rather have the big one um i can't really describe the scent because i love it that much but i don't really know how to pinpoint the scent it's quite a musky scent it's not very floral um which i actually prefer kind of those scents rather than really floral scents um but if you see this perfume anywhere give it a sniff because it's really nice unless you like the floral one in which case look at the white one because the white one is floral and this one's more musky um, I really do like this one. I can't say any more about it because, I mean, just look at it. It just looks expensive and oh, smells amazing. Um, so yeah. Moving on, we got some beauty bits. I mean, I've been doing beauty for the whole time, but like makeup bits. Obviously, cannot 
do a favourites without mentioning this. I think it's everyone's favourite. It is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. In the States, I think they've got three or four different versions of it now, but in the UK we've literally only got this one. And obviously, because I love it so much, I've got spares. <laughs> uh, and good timing because, you know, uh, I've hit pan. I will probably reuse this tub for something else, but yeah. Um, it's for me with my giant pores, it fills them up. Um, it does feel a little silicone y to me, um, but it does feel really nice on the skin. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really nice and blends into the skin really well. It's rather thick, um, but yeah, if you have a pore problem like me, then definitely grab this. And I think it's only $8.99 obviously my eyebrows um, I have been using the Revolution Pro dark brown eye pencil and it's got a spoolie at the end it's very much like the brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, I love this it's really weighty um, it's from their pro range obviously um, and it's much more professional um, I love this, uh, I love it just to fill in the brows, so I've actually done the soap brows which I'm loving, I'm kind of loving that laminated effect, um, so yes, but I really do like this, if you want a professional art uh, brow pencil and you really kind of want to the Anastasia one but don't want to pay the price, this one is really good and I think this one is $7.99, I'm not entirely sure, you'd have to check, but it's definitely a recommended if you like doing your brows. This stuff, this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Now, I had it when it first came out, when Too Faced used to be at Boots, and then it disappeared from Boots, and then it came back to Boots. I don't understand, maybe Too Faced was going through something, trying to figure out something, and Boots was like, you know what, come to us when you're ready. And, honey, I wanted that lip gloss so much. I broke it and it got to the stage where it was basically going off and I couldn't have it anymore. Um, and it used to look like <laughs> like this weird bulb shape um, and it had a picture of syringe on it. Yeah, and I used to love that stuff. It really pumped up my lips, like tingled my lips and everything. So it's taken me a few years <laughs> because Boots brought it back again and oh, I had to pick it up. I think I picked it up last year. Oh, It's exactly the same as what I remember when I first had it. Tingles the lips, plumper. It doesn't last very long. Like it's not gonna give you plump lips all day. But for me, I use it just to pump my lips up and then put my lipstick on. Yes, I really do like this stuff. Um, you can get mini versions of this from the Boots website, like a travel version. Um, either way, everyone needs this in their life. And like I said, I use it to pump up my lip so that I can do my lips. And I've been loving, loving a long time, the NYX Marv Lip Pencil. Guys. It was Amber Scholl um, who uses this a lot and I was like, girl, your lips are looking amazing. I need to know what colour it is and she let everyone know her makeup and I found it. I bought this and I love it so I had to buy another one, a spare, because obviously their pencils, eventually they're going to disappear. Um, I love this stuff. It's literally the one lip liner I use all the time. Sometimes I dive into others, but it's generally this one. I've used this one today on my lips. Oh, I just love it. Um, so yes, if you see it, it's Marv. But generally, I am very lazy because I was just basically feeling a bit glam today, if you hadn't noticed. Um, but generally, I use a liquid lipstick because... And you're done. Um, and I generally, I don't know why, because I love all of them and they're all pretty nude, I always go for Wifey from the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick, Matte, Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, these are the mini versions. 
Originally there were four sets, there was the red set, the brown set, the nude set and the pink set. I got the nude set and the pink set and they're very similar, maybe slightly pinky and the rest is nude but generally they're all very similar. I really wanted the darks and the reds but unfortunately for some unknown reason they stopped making them so I couldn't get them. Um, but yes, I always seem to gravitate to wifey and I love these size pots because they're just handy to throw in your handbag and yeah, I just absolutely love them. Oh, and they smell divine, like, oh. I don't know why, but higher end lipsticks always smell nicer. So the Jeffree Star lips, liquid lipsticks, the Huda Beauty MAC lipsticks, a Charlotte Tilbury, just smell really good. I don't actually like the smell of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks don't know why um and there's a few others that i don't really like the smell of but you know props to this one sticking with the huda theme um it's the mercury retrograde huda beauty palette oh, God, look at that. um i got this back in january and i've used it i think i've got a video coming out soon with me using this um oh just look at it oh they are gorgeous so I did a blue eye look very similar to this but blues um, and it was all because of the shade haze oh, I just love it I absolutely my favorite of this glittery shimmery flecty shades is nebula because I don't know why it just seems to work with everything I do like the gold glitter but yes absolutely love this props to her because this is one of my favorite favorite palettes at the moment um, so yes, so another one I've been loving, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but you might have seen it in some videos, is the Kevin Aqua, the Etherealist Supernatural Concealer. I just called it the Supernatural Concealer because that's easier to say. Um, it comes in this, I actually got this for $7.99 from TK Maxx. My god, it was the best purchase ever. Literally, this is the best concealer ever. Um, mine is in the shade light because usually I'm really pale obviously today I'm quite tanned um, but usually I'm really pale and oh, this stuff blends like a dream I use this under my eyes because it stays wet enough but it's really lightweight blends beautifully oh I don't know what it is it really does look really natural I love this stuff and you know it does have scent to it oh my god I've never noticed obviously not on the skin but this stuff is unreal, really glides on smooth. I don't really have any issues with my under eye, it really does brighten it up. Obviously, I've got some bags under my eyes. This is a lifesaver. <laughs> Next, oh, I have mentioned this so many times. I've used this so many times. It is the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone everyone everyone that i know seems to love opal and i do too i've got it um in the mini version but my problem is because i am so pale it comes off very gold i can wear it today because i've got a tan but it comes off very gold and for me when i've got like dead of winter pale as anything which is generally most of the time it just comes off a bit chunky and too gold and slightly brown and it just looks dirty so I kind of wanted a more lighter gold more for pale skin moonstone is literally the number one to go for it's a very lighter got light gold um, oh, it's coming off very gold there where it's shining in the sun um, but this stuff is just beautiful um it's not very heavy it's not very very gold it's very like smooth on the skin it if you've got pale skin it's perfect for you i just wish they did a mini version of it they might do now i haven't really looked but this stuff is literally the bomb i use this more than i use any of my other highlighters and literally i have a drawer full of highlighters which is also coming up in a video um but this stuff is literally i could not live without this this is one of my must-haves ride or die cannot live without oh, so good i blush i blush <laughs> no seriously like i put blush on 
it doesn't last very long um, I mainly bronze and blend everything out um, but I can't really mention a favorites without mentioning this guy this guy has been in my life for so long um, it probably should be thrown out she has been in so many favorite videos it's unreal since I got her um, and it's the Rocketeer by Benefit it's a box blush oh god I am hitting I've hit Pam so it's gonna be a sad day when she goes um, but it's like a pinky with some gold and some like pink flex oh. this is literally my favorite favorite blush I've tried their newer ones and still this one is my favorite of all time um, it used to be Coralista and then they launched this one and honey when I got this she has been a firm favorite she goes on holiday with me literally my favorite blush um, yeah so I've got a few more random products to show you now um, first one is I read yes I read I read books for some unknown reason, this is funny to people. My dad makes jokes about the fact that I don't read, but I do because I've got like two bookcases. And when we moved in, I put all my books in there and my dad was like, you don't read. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so um, I try to read when I go on holiday. And recently, <laughs> over the last year, I guess, <laughs> I've got really into horror I'm already into horror stuff but I got really into like documentary horrors and like real life serial killers and things like that um, and one of the books I read on holiday was uh, talking with psychopaths and savages which I thought was really really good and while I was what reading that I had to quickly Netflix while I was on holiday um, Remington Place because one of the serial killers in the book was in well, that program was based on um, so obviously I had to like pause what I was reading and then watch that I literally watched that in a day and then read my book again <laughs> so yes it did take me a whole week to read my book because we were busy as well and I got sick as well on my holiday um, but I really like that kind of genre I also got uh, my sister the serial killer which I haven't read but everyone like raves but everyone seems to rave about it so I think eventually I will read it um, but currently I'm reading this which I picked up because <laughs> Um, one of my work colleagues uh, asked me if I watched a program called White House Farm and I didn't and I didn't know what it was about and one um, one day I was sick and I decided to watch the program and it's all about this brother who well technically they think it's the daughter who's killed everyone um, turns out it's the brother anyway it's a really good program if you haven't watched it I hope it's still on ITV but I don't know um, but basically I picked up the book it's called The Murders at White House Farm Jeremy Bamba and the Killing of His Family now I've been trying to read a chapter a day because I read some and then ugh, life gets in the way I went back I was at work and you don't generally get to read so while I've been off I've been trying to read uh, obviously I haven't got very far um, I think I'm at what am I at chapter 14 it's a bit weird because they're in sections so I'm in section 2 I believe chapter 14 um, basically this is um, an interviewer called Carol and Lee who spoke to Bamba people related to him and the family and has basically written a quite an interesting kind of book about the family's life and the individuals and everything running up to the deaths and then after because if you I don't want to spoil anything if you watch the program because it's really good um, but there is a massive like cock up with how they dealt with this whole situation because they thought it was a, a murder suicide and it wasn't um, so it is very gripping and I've just got to the point where they're getting close to the murders so you learn in this book you basically learn everything about in each individual person and who they are and what they do and why they thought that it was a murder suicide so it's a very interesting book to read 
it comes with photos as well <laughs> so there are chunks of like bits that are just photos um but i highly recommend it it's such a good read my last thing and these were a christmas present from my mum and she got them when we were on holiday because i was like i really want them because they're so pretty but i don't know the brand why they're so expensive and my mum went what are they what brand and i was like Birkenstow or something like that she went Birkenstock I was like yes she was like they're a very well-known brand of flip-flop <laughs> so much that I know <laughs> um so because it's now gotten warmer um I have been loving them even more and they are these oh, look at them they're this iridescent kind of uh, reptile-y looking um colour Birkenstow shoe um, mine are in size eight, uh, seven or eight, size 40. Um, I love these. I think my toe part's a little bit tight though. Um, it's like perfect, but not quite perfect. Um, but I love these. I've been wearing these in the garden. I've wearing these out. Oh my God, they've got like toe prints in them, sorry. Um, but yes, I absolutely love these. Um, and I'm so glad that we picked up the dark version instead of the white because these dark ones go with everything and I wear them with this and my little cycle shorts and just walk around in those or oh, just, I just love wearing them it's that bad like I don't really own a proper pair of sandals apart from those and literally they are the best sandals that I've ever got <laughs> now I bid you a farewell um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I have been rambling on for rather, rather too long. Um, but I will see you in my next video, whenever that will be. Hopefully very soon, because I've got a few sitting on that D-card. Um, so yes, I'm going to have lunch now, and I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>